Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this super duper gorgeous Ankara inspired makeup tutorial for you all. It's certainly very different to the last tutorial that I have up. And to get started, I'm just going to be using some Jensen Baby Wipes to wipe up her face. After this, I'm going to be prepping her skin with some e.l.f. makeup setting spray. And then once I'm done doing this, I'm going to be using the Becca Ever Matte Primer on her T-zone areas. I always, always, always do these three steps before I start any makeup application. And sorry guys, I sound a bit wheezy, but yeah we're struggling out here so I do not know what happened to the brow clip I don't know if I deleted it I don't know if I didn't record it but I just could not find it so I'm just showing you guys how I'm buffing in the concealers that I used into her skin I'm so sorry but you guys have seen me do brows on my models a gazillion at one time so sorry about that I'm going to be applying some you know body glow to her t-zone areas before I go in with foundation I feel like it just makes everything more dewy and more glowy Today I'm going to be using the Black Opal Stick Foundation on her in Carob. This is one of my favorite, actually my only favorite stick foundation if I'm being honest. I just sprayed some of setting spray on my makeup brush and I'm going to buff the foundation into her skin. Once we're done with the foundation application, I'm going to be highlighting her face and I'm using my Ellie Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee and Toast. And I'm just going to apply this to the areas of the face that I want to highlight. And then once I'm done doing that, I'm going to be buffing the concealers in with an original beauty blender. And I always make sure that my beauty blender is damp, not soaking wet, certainly not dry, but just damp to get the perfect blend. And then once I'm done with that, I'm just going to be spraying her face. And once her face is nice and kind of dry, I'm going to go back in with the foundation brush and I'm just going to blend in between the concealer and the foundation just to have like a flawless, no harsh line, seamless finish on the face. Up next, I'm going to be using my YSL Souffle de Clat Loose Powder number no. 3. I absolutely love, love, love this powder. And I'm just using it to set her highlighted areas. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to be going in with the Black Opal Finishing Powder in Deep. And this powder is the bomb.com. I really need to use it more often. And it works so well as well when, when I've used the foundation and I use powder. It's like, you know, just using the same product from the same brand. It's the perfect combination. So once I'm done with that, I'm using my ABH Contour Powder in Espresso and Carob. I'm going to be using this to just, you know, bring some definition, some dimension back into her face. And then when we're done with the whole face, I'm going to be using... The powder in espresso just for her nose area. I always like to use slightly light, lighter powder to contour the nose area because I feel like it's not as harsh. So once we're done contouring the nose, I'm going to be using the same face powder that I used to reverse contour her face just to bring some more dimension back into the face. And I'm going to be using that YSL powder just to bake while we prepare for eyeshadow application. And then yeah, so I'm using my Morphe 3, 350 or 350, I think, eyeshadow palette. And there is actually no name for the shades, but you guys can kind of see the shades that I'm dabbing into. And these are the colors that I'm going to use to transition the eyeshadow. And I'm just kind of intensifying the shadow a bit more with a warm, deep orange color. I'm going to mix everything together and voila, transition is done. And then I'm going to be using my Max Paint Pot in Paintly. I'm actually like out of this, like literally. I had to go with my House of Tara eyeshadow primer because I was literally scraping the pot. So I'm going to be using this, you know, just to prep her eyes for the colorful shadow that we're going to apply on the lid. And then I'm going to be using my Buttercup, Buttercup Cake shade, which is a bright, gorgeous yellow from my Sugar Pill Burning Hat palette. I'm applying this kind of like three quarter ways through her lid. And then I went in with the orange shade, which is Flame Point, and I'm applying this to the remaining one quarter space on her lid. And then I'm going to be taking the red, the red eyeshadow from the palette, and I'm using this to kind of like blend both the orange and the yellow color in together, kind of very softly. So that is most of it really for the for the colorful shadow on the lid. Then I went to with my So Pro Cosmetics Glitter Stack. I applied some Ben Nye Glitter Glue, and I just picked this. You know, gorgeous gold shade from the stack and I'm just applying that in between the red, well the orange and the yellow eyeshadow just to create like a nice gorgeous, you know, sparkle and transition. 
Up next, I'm going to be using my Inglot Gel Liner in number 77. This is like my favorite gel liner. I'm just going to be lining our eyes and I'm going to be doing a subtle wing. Now, onto the gold pigment. I do not know what pigment this is. I feel like it's an old pigment that I have in my kit, but I just thought, why not apply some gold to her tear duct and, you know, just make the eyes stand out a bit more. And then we went in with the Elsa Tara primer again, and I'm basically applying this to her waterline because we wanted to kind of like incorporate some grain from the Ankara that she's going to be tying later on from the Ed Wrap onto her eyeshadow. So I basically just apply this to her waterline, just kind of like a nice pop of color there. So once we're done with the eyeshadow application, I'm just going to be dusting off the excess powder on the face, and then I'm going to be applying some mascara to her lower lashes, and I'm using my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara, and my L'Oreal Paris Miss Bunga Mascara, my favorite mascara to use on myself and on every single client that I have. Up next, I'm going to be using this gorgeous blush from Becca in Blushed Copper. It's just such a gorgeous shade to use in deeper skin tone. And then I went in with my Glowing Radiant Dust in Bronze Gold just to, you know, subtly highlight her face. And then I think after this, I'm going to use my Ingot Sparkling Dust in number three, which is a gorgeous, like, gold color. And I'm just going to apply this, you know, for extra glow. Why not? So guys, I'm just going to be prepping the lashes. And in the meantime, I'm going to set her face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And once that dries in, I'm going to be using Poise by Slay at Mink Lashes in Dahlia. You guys already know how much I love this lash. And I'm just going to apply that. And then I'm going to go in with some gel liner, just to kind of blend the lash band so there's like no, you know, no harsh lines, no transitions there. And then I'm just going to go in with the two mascaras that I used earlier on to blend her natural lashes with the falses. So onto the lips guys, I'm going to be using my MAC Lip Liner in Chestnut and I'm going to slightly overdraw her lips because Tinu has like the cutest, tiniest lips and we wanted it to look you know, a bit bigger, a bit juicier, more luscious. So that's what you guys are going to see me do here and I'm just going to fill it in slightly and then I'm going to be using my OCC Lip Tone Interlace. Like guys, if I got money for every time I use this lip tone, I would be a billionaire because I use it. <laughs> so I'm just blending that in. And then once that's all nice and blended, I'm going to get her to patch. And then I'm going to be using my Milani lip gloss and my ABH lip gloss. So I forgot to pop some glue on the brow bone earlier on, and that's just what I'm doing now. So you guys are going to see a Tinu um tie the turban i would love to explain this step to you guys but i feel like i'm just not going to do a good job but i'm just going to let you guys watch and learn So guys, I forgot to mention, but I left it to news business details down below. Her business name is Mayo Print. She sells gorgeous scarves, bonnets, turbans, pajamas, you name it. They're all so pretty in many different styles and patterns. So please do check her out and definitely, definitely patronize her. We have come to the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to also click the links, the other links in my, in my description and follow me on all my other social media platforms. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you all very soon.